Chat Physical Therapy. I'm Dr. Katherine Price, and I'm going to share with you how to do some home traction decompression of both the femur, so getting the inferior glide back into the hip if you have hip restriction, along with some decompression and traction in the low back. If you've got low back pain, facet impingement, um, chronic disc problems, but not active because this is a hard position to get into. So I wanna show you how you can do this at home, fairly inexpensive, easy setup if you can find a place in your home to do it, and it can help alleviate and help with your back, pelvis, and hips. But again, this is only if you are um, able to safely get into these positions. So do consult your healthcare provider for the appropriateness of doing this if this is something that would be beneficial. So first you wanna start with getting a heavy band. Now you want a band that takes at least 50% of your body weight and these you can order and get the poundage um, that you're looking for. So it takes 50% of your body weight to actually get mechanical separation of the vertebra in the back which can decompress and help open up the joints. Once you have the appropriate um, resistance for your band, and even if it's not 50%, sometimes it can feel good just to have the pull for the decompression, but to get actual mechanical separation, you want 50% of your body weight. Then what I'm gonna do, so I've got um, the edge of a couch, I've got the, um, the foot to the bottom, and I'm going to wrap this band around there and thread it through so it's underneath this chair. So I'm just gonna use the base of my couch and a chair, and I will just wrap this right around the bottom here. So I've got this wrapped around the leg, and I'm gonna pull this through the loop. So I've got that pull through, and then it'll come right through the bottom of this chair. Now, the hardest part is to get into the position. So once I have this wrapped around the foot of the couch, you can do this outside as long as you, you can do this at the, if you've got a bed where you've got a leg that's going to be stable where you can wrap around there, or on a porch, if you can go outside and put a soft mat and you've got a beam that you can wrap that's gonna um, be strong enough to hold. Then what I wanna do, I'm going to lie onto my back, but I'm going to pull the band backwards and I'm gonna put one leg through first. So I'm gonna be on my back, I'm gonna be pulling the resistance band and I don't really wanna pull with my arms as much as use my body weight. I'm gonna thread one leg through and then I'm going to come back up. I'm gonna lean back and use my body weight to pull back on the band and then position the band just at the top part of the femur, the hip. And I'm gonna just lie here and you should feel the pull and the decompression going towards your feet. And this is gonna help you with the inferior glide in the hip most of the time, it's the inferior glide that becomes dysfunctional and can lead to breakdown in the hip joint. So this is gonna help restore that inferior glide. It's also going to help with opening up the facets in the low back because it can decompress and allow the um, vertebrae to separate and open up. But I do need 50% of my body weight to be able to get that mechanical separation but this is going to decompress the back. Staying in this position, this is the astronaut position, 90-90, knees are bent at 90 degrees, hips at 90 degrees. I can hang out here from five to 20 minutes. Sometimes if I wanna decompress my back, I'll get into this position, and you can read a book, you can relax, work on your diaphragmatic breathing is always helpful, and that's where you're just gonna breathe from the diaphragm, taking deep breaths in, and all the way out. And as the back is decompressed and lengthened, when you first get in this position, you may feel that the back is arched. So as you can lengthen and relax and uh, work on activating the diaphragm, then the low back can start to sink down to the floor. And this is a great way just to decompress the back along with getting that inferior glide 
in the femur. So this is a combination and it's a um, cost effective way that you can set up and do this at home without hanging upside down and you'll hear about um, folks asking uh, about traction and the appropriateness of hanging upside down. This is going to keep you in that um, horizontal position but still give you that decompression. Now getting out is also cumbersome so that's going to be one of the downfalls to using this um, particular exercise or position. So what I'm going to do is the same way I got in, I walk the band up to my thigh, use my body weight to pull the band back, and I'm going to go and bring one leg out first, bring that up, and then I'm going to bring my other leg out and then up. I'm out of my band, and then I'll roll to my side to bring my legs off the chair and come up out of that. So the biggest problem with this one is getting in and out of the position, but it's a great way to decompress the back and work on getting that inferior glide back in the hips.